Welcome back, horror fanatics. Tonight, we have yet another horrifying movie for you for Horror Month 2012. Did I say horror enough in that? Not enough. I think you need to say it at least four more times. Four more? Four more times and then we can move on. Tonight is a horrifying horror film from a great horror director for Horror Month. Okay, that's good enough. And we're here to review Frankenweenie. Tonight's movie was everything that I wanted out of Hotel Transylvania and I didn't get. Now, I finally have gotten it. And I would totally agree with that. I mean, the thing is, for me, you know, you see zombie people all the time. You don't really see zombie animals that much. And it's kind of like, it's much more of a personal thing for me because I'm such a, you know, dog person. I'd care less if I see zombie people walking around, but it seems like when it comes to animals, you know, it's, it's much different. It's almost like Frankenstein has a dog. You know, I, I didn't know the... I figured the entire film was this guy and his zombie dog. I mean, I didn't really understand the concept of the film until I saw the second trailer, and they started involving all the other characters and started showing some more of the other characters in the movie, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be fantastic. This is actually kind of a remake of... Frank and Weenie. I've never seen the original Frank and Weenie. I know there was one. I think it was his very first film he ever directed. I've never seen it. I I think I actually saw like a, I think it was a VHS tape of it a long, long time ago. It's been at least a good 20 years. So let's get right into this movie, Vince. I gotta say, I think it's probably the best movie Tim Burton has made, at least in my opinion, since... Ed Wood. Well, okay, yeah. It, it's been his best movie lately. Frankenweenie is his absolute 100% return to the stuff that he used to wow me with, that he used to amaze me with. That's this movie. He's an artist with, with style. <laughs> this is a horror movie. 100% horror movie. Yeah? Hooray! This isn't made for little children. I agree. You know, it can be disturbing disturbing for kids. However, uh, I don't think it was necessarily intentional that way because, I mean, it's it's for everybody, really. I disagree. I don't, I don't think it's for everybody. I think it's for people who enjoy the classic black and white horror films from Universal. I mean, those... Are the people who are gonna go would should go see this, and you'll love it. I mean, if you love those old classic horror films, just because this is stop motion, which by the way was incredible. I mean, I think it's some of the best stop motion I've ever seen in a film. It should not prevent you from going to see this. There's some cute moments. There's some funny moments that which is mostly common in this movie, and there is some forms of action but this is very much definitely a halloween film too is i i mean this was a perfect time to bring i i don't know why they're not bringing out horror movies closer to halloween i don't understand that in the last two years horror films and i mean just even films like this just you know, they, they're not coming out close enough to Halloween, and I don't get that. And, but this one is definitely perfect for it and will definitely get you in the mood for Halloween. This is a classic black-and-white horror film that goes back and has, you know, so many roots to this film. I mean, he, he pays so many tributes to, like, of course, Frankenstein. At first I experimented only with dead animals. And then a human heart, which I kept beating for three weeks. But now, I'm going to turn that ray on that body and endow it with life. 
And you really believe that you can bring life to the dead? That body is not dead. It has never lived. And Night of the Living Dead. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it. You're ignorant. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it. You're acting like a child. Look, they're coming for you. Look, there comes one of them now. And reanimators in there. Herbal West has affected reanimation in dead animal tissue. Gremlins is even in there. Gremlins, eh? Little monsters. Uh, Pet Cemetery. What is this place? I brought you here to bury Alan's cat. Daddy, is Church all right? Why, Judd? I have Marines. I dreamed he got hit by a car and you and Mr. Crandall buried him in the Pet Cemetery. What did we do tonight, Judd? What we did, Lois, was a secret. <laughs> all these horror films, great classic horror films, he plays tribute to them. And it's just, it was so fun to watch this because of that. So what are you going to give Frank and Weenie? This is a classic. This is a born classic. Again, you know, as classic films do come out, people won't probably discover this film until another 10 years. And they'll be like, oh, hey, this was a cult classic. And everybody loves Frank and Weenie. And it was amazing. And But now nobody's going to see it because they're idiots. So... I'm already predicting the future for this movie that it's a Okay, I I agree with you. I think it's an amazing movie. I think it was it's one of Tim Burton's best movies that he's done in the last few years. And I really, really enjoyed the film. But I would have to give it a 5 out of 5. You know what? I just give it a 5, alright? I give Frank and Weenie a golden... Go and see for yourself.